Um, next we're going to do under eyes. Typically I would do my eyeshadow first just in case I mess up so I can clean my under eye. But I can't go on camera any longer without covering my circles. I have dark circles. I have purple and blue pigment. And I've had a lot of makeup artists do my makeup. And it's really important you layer different colors on top of it. This is one of my favorite palettes. I linked it below and I've also linked it on my website. One key that I've learned is to help balance out the purple and the blue is to actually start with a salmon colored concealer. Can you see that that's kind of a pink color? I know that sounds crazy. Okay, so I take the pink, only cover where the blue and purple part of my eye are. I'm not doing any other part. I'm gonna do one eye and show you the difference. I'm trying really hard not to smooth away, but instead pat it on. Okay, this is, believe it or not, gonna help neutralize the blue and the purple. So then I'm gonna go to a um, darker peach. It's, it's like a, it's a neutral for me. It's the second one down. And then I'm gonna cover it on top and again, I'm just patting it on. I find sometimes it's easier just to use your fingers because see how it's covering on? And because of the primer I've used, my pores are not showing. If I do this when I'm running out the door and I don't use a primer, my pores show more. I can fix it with powder um, but this foundation primer helps so much. The other thing that's a must for me is this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion. There are two kinds. One is an anti-aging and then there's um, a regular. I always use the anti-aging. The regular dries my skin so much that I can't stand it. So for me, anything that says anti-aging is bueno. Okay, so at this point I cover up the top of my eyelids. And this will help, again, like the foundation, have everything stay in place. Super important. Then I take that same color that I was using before from my under eye, and I pat the top. I'm not pushing too hard. I'm not rubbing. I'm just patting to help give a clean palette for my eyes. Okay, so if you'll see, <laughs> we are already moving in the right direction. Okay, so now that I'm happy with how the color's going, I'm going to take a lighter color and I'm going to make a V. This will help the light reflect. You really need to go high up in here in the corners, go down your cheekbone and up to this. You're making a V under your eye to help the light reflect. How are we doing? Last but not least, I always take my beauty blender brush. Really important you press lightly and not sweep. All this is gonna do is help remove any creases or any tiny lines, okay? And just kind of smooth it in. Final step, this is the Laura Mercier. It is called Secret Brightening Powder. I mean, it's not a secret. They sell it at Nordstrom's. I take one brush that is a fluffy brush and it's only for this because I don't want to mix any color in there like brown. And I tap it in Tap it in, tap it in, name that movie. Um, and then all I do is pat it very, very gently to help set. Okay, let's take a look at the before and after. Can you see? Not done, done. Huge difference, right? And we use pink. Okay, look a little harder. All right, now that we've done that, I'm gonna finish up my other eye and I will be back in a second. Does anybody else open their mouth when they put on their eye makeup? I mean, I feel like it makes it easier. <laughs> oh, so much better. So much better. Okay, both eyes are done. Okay, so that's my under eye covering uh, video. I hope you like it. Hit like if you do. Uh, hit subscribe if you want to keep following more. But I have more videos coming up of how I do each little segment. I'm also going to wardrobe change because why not? Thanks for following me. I'm Kelly.